Big Old Fish. Sponsored by Awful Arthur's Seafood Company. All right, well, can you believe it? It's already February, and while time continues to march on, one thing always remains constant. And that is on Fridays. You can always count on us to bring you a big, big old, old fish. fish. Here's WFXR's George Noliff. Occasionally you'll get one that'll flop off, run up to the side, and start flipping out on the surface. Flipping up on the surface? Well, that's just an occupational hazard when you're going after some big old fish. How y'all doing, folks? Let's get started with guide Chase Bowman in a big muskie. He and a client caught on the New River. That fish measured 50 inches long. That's more than four feet, and that qualifies it as a big old fish. It's almost Valentine's Day, and there's no better way to say I love you than by sharing a picture of your significant other and their big old fish. This photo comes courtesy of Laura Ellis Maxfield, and it shows her husband Tracy Maxfield with an 18-pound striper he caught at Smith Mountain Lake. That's true love there, folks. And Scott Wood was doing a little night fishing when he caught these two giant walleyes down at Philpot Lake. You can actually see those fish eyes glow underwater when you're fishing for them. Nice fish, Scott. All right, folks, time for a little shore breakfast. Until next time, I'm George Noel of WFXR News, Outdoors Bound, hoping all your catches are... You ready to see him go back? Yeah. Big old fish. All right, George, thanks. And if you'd like to see your big old fish pictures or videos on air, just send them to George. That's his email address right there on your screen, Gene Oliff at WFXRTV.com.